Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of My Little Blacksmith Shop. Uh, today we're going to see if we can advance a little bit further and some things have changed. Uh, we are now on alpha version 0.0.81, which is a little bit different. I'm sure you've already noticed some things that look a little bit different. But let's go ahead and get on back into it. Same controls as before. Ooh, what is this? We have a pick. Ooh. Ha ha! That is interesting. How much money do we currently have? 68. Uh, it does not seem as though we have any bars. Let's see about ordering some ingots. That should be good enough for just about anything. Place that order. Oop. Still getting my buttons backwards. Happens to us all. I will say the mouse feels a little bit twitchier now. Luckily enough, I haven't lost anything just yet, even though we've just started. That is totally something that I would do, though. Let's see... The day is start. Ooh, there's a there's a horse back here now. That's new. Hmm. There's some candles. Let's go back. What do we What do we have? We have literally nothing. But let's go ahead and open up the shop and hope somebody comes by. I'll order a couple of grips, a couple of handles, grip, grip. Guards, we need a one-handed guard and a two-handed guard, and we'll place the order. And I forgot to get a pole arm grip. So let's go ahead and oh. Definitely a lot twitchier. And we in fact do not have enough money for that. Hope nobody comes asking for pole arms, because I don't have it. Two-handed guard. Oh. I like that. I'm going to stick it up there. One-handed guard looks a bit different. Uncommon one-handed grip. Rare two-handed grip. If I remember correctly, that was not a thing. Hello? Is anyone coming? Oh, I didn't notice we had two sons. Things look very, very different out here. We've got a crossroads, which I'm sure is excellent for business. It's atmospherically very different. Very, very different. We have a clock. Uh, I guess since it's so early in the day, that's got something to do with why there aren't many folks coming. I think that says it's 4 a.m. If I am correct. Oh, and they have cooled. Doesn't take long to get them back up there, though. They're glowing. They say they're cooled. They're not cooled. Okay, maybe they are cooled. They just have to glow super duper bright. Someone, come visit my shop. I have sharpened pointy wares. I see no one. The time is just flying by. So we left at the dawn of day three. I didn't see a, a marker for what day it is now. I feel tired. Is that evening? That is evening. Let's go ahead and close the shop. Come on. You you can okay, whatever. I can close that door. Why can I not close this door? Well, that's broken. Can't sleep even though I'm tired. Could have swore that was the sun going down. But it does seem to be getting brighter. 
Time is going just as quickly as it was before. Oh, and it looks like we've got somebody coming our way. What would you like? Here to pick up that... Oh. Do I have to give away my pickaxe? Or is that something I can make? Let's see, heads... Maybe that's different? No. Heated copper ingot. Heated copper ingot. I'm assuming that's blunts. No. Axes, maybe. Well, that's not how you make that, apparently. I will figure this out. Oh, and my ingots have already gone cool. Uh, don't think I've got enough for really anything else. Let's hope that it's under blades. Got a real feeling here that it's not. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to drop stuff. Q, E, W, no. Let's see if we can find it in our controls. There a drop object, pick up and hold, throw, interact. Ease equip. There's no unequip. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you, buddy. And give you an axe. Well, that's probably not what you want. Let's see, do we have an axe? We. There we go. Takes a small handle. You're going to take this and you're going to be happy with it. Even though you were reasonably polite. Oh, and I have caused him to go away. That's not good. Let's leave this up here in case somebody comes looking for an axe. And I really hope somebody comes looking for a sword. Uh, it's going to have to be a two-handed guard on that. Will that take a two-handed guard? That will not take a two-handed guard. It'll have to take a one-handed guard. It will not take a one-handed guard. Can I put the two-handed guard on that? No. All these things are different and I have no idea what's going on. Let's hope this gentleman wants an axe or something that I can make with this. A one-handed sword. There was a way to unclip these. Oh, oh boy. That's not good. Let's see, do I have enough for a one handed grip? One handed grip. Place order. I only have $2. Well, I'm going to have to turn you away as well. Unless... Oh, got a one-handed guard. And no blade to put on it. Oh, oh, oh! You, sir, have a very odd sword with a two-handed grip that you cannot use. Well... Let's hope the next person wants a two-handed sword, because that's all I have. Oh boy, this is going very poorly. I feel like I didn't have enough money to get started, because I didn't have any of the stuff that you normally start with over here, so I had to buy some of that, I had to buy some ore, I had to buy a bunch of things. Things did not go well. 
I will have to keep turning away folks until I get somebody who wants a two-handed sword. That looks ridiculous because it's got a two-handed grip and a two-handed guard. Or one-handed guard. Oh, boy. If ever there were a bastard sword, this would be it. Please take a sword. Two-handed axe. I could have made that. I do not have that now. Because apparently I can't drop an axe. Speaking of axe, I see some trees out here. Wonder if that's a thing that I can do. Oh boy. That's interesting. See nothing changing there. Oh. Wonder what I do with this then. I'm just kind of winging it here, folks. What does that do? Does that light on fire? The beehive. Ooh, what is this? What is that? Oh, do I put logs in there? Uh, two handed axe. Still cannot give you a two handed axe. Well, that does not seem to be the place for that. Does this go down in there? It does not go down in there. Does it go in here? Oh! That cuts down into firewood. I am I can only assume they go in here. Not very well, mind you. Oh, that is exactly how that works. Now what is it for? Uh, great hammer. Don't have it. But this doesn't take any. Uh, we're just going to leave this here and then go explore. I'm sure the horse has got something to do with something. Uh, oh, it only follows. It does not, it is not something I can ride, apparently. That's a thought. I don't have the boxes. I would assume if I had a cart, I would need to put things in boxes. Just to make things a bit easier to carry. Let's explore around. Uh, oh, turned all the way around. Like I said, controls are a bit more sensitive than they were before, and I have yet to change that. I figured, why not? Why not try it out as it was intended? There is a glowy thing here. I don't know if that's good. Is the horse still behind me? The horse is very slow behind me. Ooh, there's a thing here. The horse is nearby. Although, I don't think the cart's going to fit in here. Huh. Let's wait till the horse catches up a bit and get him to stop here. This is a very beautiful horse. Kind of looks zebra-like. Horse is idle. Good. The game in its current state, I'm not entirely sure I would trust it to come down here with me. Some glowy stuff. Can I hit that? I cannot hit that. There's a door. Where does that go? Oh, and more glowy stuff. And some piles of rocks and things. 
what looks like a place for a torch, and I don't seem to be able to interact with that door at all. Some tin. Can't hit that. There's some copper. Oh, and I can hit some copper. Heck yeah. Oh, well, things are falling through stuff now. I'm assuming, since I can only seem to carry one of these, that I should put these in the back of the horse cart. And I've lost a day. Not good stuff. But I'm betting, based on the size and shape of this, this goes into that new furnace thing that I fuel with uh, wood. This seems to be the only way for me to be able to get copper at the moment since I am so dirt poor. Also out of grips and things. If I knew how to... Ooh, what is this? It's mithril. Also can't hit that. There's some more cooled copper ore. I really hope each copper ore turns into an ingot. That would be nice. That would be very nice. In real life, it doesn't quite work like that. Copper doesn't come in these nice big chunks like this. It's usually oxidized and not fun to mess with. Uh, it doesn't really take industrial processes to get copper out, but it does take uh, quite a bit of work and some chemicals to separate it out. Copper is famously non-reactive. It's pretty stable as it is. Um, if you see stuff rust, like iron, like an old truck or whatever, yeah, that, that's rust. That's an oxida ah, oxidation reaction. Oh, more copper, yeah. Uh, copper does technically do that, but it takes a lot longer time. If you've ever seen, like, an old green statue, the uh, last place I saw a copper that stayed outside that long, but some statues are made of copper and they do turn green over time. That's its oxidation reaction. So chances are, if you're digging around in your backyard, hopefully your backyard's not a mine, don't play in mines, kids. Unless it's Minecraft, then you can mine all day long. Or this, apparently, because I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I just wish I had a way to carry things. Anyway, uh, so I was saying, if you're looking for copper in the ground, like your backyard or whatever, uh, you're going to find it very green. Maybe just like a little bit, um, little bit white-ish very light green it's very powdery so if you look at an old copper statue you'll know what I'm talking about uh, old bronze cannons if you go visit a war memorial or something and they've got that kind of stuff hanging around uh, bronze is primarily copper and you'll see it turn that funky shade of green I think that's probably enough that's like four pieces right there Let's uh, get the horse to follow me and head on back. Hopefully that will let me build whatever it is somebody's asking for. I'm thinking by the time we get back, somebody will have come by and needed the one thing that we have. Is it going to make it around the tree? It made it around the tree. So I'm not entirely sure what all else is brand new in 0.8.1. Oh, there's the back of the shop. But I kind of like the direction it's going in. Did somebody buy it? It does not seem as though someone bought it. Come on, horse. Horsey make horse face. <laughs> well, you do move quite slow. If I didn't carry quite so much, uh, I'm not sure I would even use the horse. 
There we go. And we are back with the horse. All of a sudden the lights and stuff changed. Let's take this over to that new piece of hardware around the corner and see if it actually fits. It does! I wonder if we... Oh, stop following, please. This horse is not very good at following directions. wonder if I can make more than one at a time. If not, this is going to be kind of painful going back and forth between the two. And if, that, if that does seem to be the case, then it's probably going to be a couple updates from now before I put something else out related to my little blacksmith shop. Let's put you in the hole. I can't imagine it does well with just one, but let's let's try it. It is on. It is heating up. Oh, ooh. Oh, -ho. so in real life, it's not quite that easy. Yes, you can build a fire that would get hot enough to melt copper. That's not that big of a deal. But stuff when they get really hot, they like to pick up impurities. Like, a lot. So, you've got to put some kind of flux on it. Back in the old days, they'd take something like hay as a flux. It's good for drawing stuff off the top of the metal as it as it starts to cool and while it's in the furnace. Um, borax is another good one. Uh, and if you're talking about anything steel, acids work very well. Anything to keep the oxygen out. Ooh, and that is four. Four lumps, four bricks. Go ahead and kick that back on just in case. Pickaxe. Mm, don't have a pickaxe still, and I don't have enough money to buy literally anything else. So if you haven't gotten back in, let's hope you haven't updated. Because, yeah. Mm, I really, 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 really wish that I had another short short handle pickaxe. I feel like that would be a one-handed thing. I've got a one-handed grip. Cost seven. That's not good. Ooh. Can I use my pick on this? No. It looks like it, but no. I guess it's because it doesn't have anything useful in it. Oh, the patrons. That's nice. And a ladder. I wonder where that goes. Well, I may as well go ahead and turn away this patron because unless she is looking for... Yes, she is looking for a two-handed sword, I can't help her. As soon as I get that, I can get some more materials, I can go do some mining off a of camera, and come back and bring you something nifty. Because I've got to figure out how to make a an pickaxe at some point but I don't see anything that tells me how to make a pickaxe it's not in the handy dandy diagram or anything I would assume it's in the same family as hammers oh gotta go back to the hammer shields what does that look like no What would you like? One-handed axe. I am all out of one-handed anything. This is not fun. Not fun at all. Um, I hate to call an episode here, guys. But I am stuck. I cannot go any further without some kind of something selling. So, I hope you enjoyed the new update a lot more than I did. And if you haven't updated, put some put some money in the bank before you do. Uh, because 
Because you're, you're going to be hurting for cash unless you do. Uh, I will get back to you guys here fairly soon with some information. Once again, I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this. Actually, I really hope you enjoyed it more than I enjoyed making this because this was, this was eventful and not in a fun way. But I will catch you in the next one.